Okay, so I'm going to show how to open up a Lenovo Y520-15IKBN. So first what you want to do is remove all the screws. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. Alright, once you remove all those screws, I found it's easiest to start from the back. So along here you can actually see there's a line so get a pry tool or your nails and just get along one edge once you get that you can pry it up like that and then just work your way along the whole thing all right just go all the way around all right once you get around there you can kind of pull up on it um, if it's stuck you can kind of work your pry tool or your nail along the sides as well so let's see okay so I found once you pull on it, it'll come up like this. Um, it's a little bit tough, so you might have to pry the front as well. Um, it's easier if you can lift this at the same time as you're kind of prying on it. Um, but let me see if I can do this with one hand. A little tough. Okay. Oh, okay. So once you get a little bit of it out, then you can kind of use the pry tool and just do that. All right, and then this whole panel comes off. So you can kind of see the inside. All right. Let me see all the little clips and everything in there. All right. So this one, I'm just replacing the hard drive with an SSD. Um, their M.2 SSD broke. Um, they didn't want to wait for an M.2 SSD, so I'm just going to replace their internal hard drive, the spinning drive, with an SSD. So here's the M.2 SSD. It's having problems. It doesn't want to boot, and then it makes the computer, if you try and do stuff, it's acting really slow to do anything because it's trying to read this even though it can't. But um, to remove it, you basically take the one screw out, and then you can slot it out. I'll actually show you that real quick since I'm going to have to remove it anyways. So I'll just take this one screw out. Since I'm not putting this back, I'll just set it aside. So just wiggle it like that and pull it out. All right. Just put this little screw back in there. Okay, so here you can see the battery's held in with some screws. All right, you can see this little board here. I don't know if that's for the trackpad. It's hard to tell from here. Oh yeah, those are the trackpad buttons. So these are the trackpad buttons on the trackpad. Um, so you can see all the screws for the battery. Usually I don't like doing complex things to show people because I don't want people to break things. So if you can't really figure out this on your own by looking at it, then um, you probably shouldn't be attempting this. But um, the battery, you just wiggle this and it'll come out. So pull this. Usually the battery, if you're going to work on anything high voltage like the screen, you kind of want to unhook this and then hold the power button down to drain it, but I'm not doing any of that, but pretty much you just grab this and wiggle it. See, it'll come out. So I'm not taking all this out because I'm just changing the, the hard drive to an SSD, but I'm just showing you what's available. So this looks like a backlight LED um, connector for the keyboard, and then this looks like the trackpad cable. The keyboard there's a screw underneath there of course um, here you can see this is the video card um, the heatsink and then there's all the video memory and stuff under here and then I'm pretty sure the CPU is under here or it could be switched around but more likely this is the CPU because the GPU usually has a whole bunch of like memory um, that they kind of attach that so you can see the LCD connector here. You just flip the latch up and you can take it out. Okay. All right. And then you can see this. I believe that's a speaker cable. Yeah. So, and then you can see the power jack here. If for some reason the power jack breaks, you can see it connects over here. Um, usually I find these are really tough to remove, but you basically just pull it and wiggle it and it'll eventually come out. But um, usually I find they're very tough to remove. So there's that. Here's the fan connector. And what's this? Another fan connector. So there's two fans. And you got the CMOS battery here. All right. 
the speaker cable so the, these two speaker cables actually connect here so this is actually a speaker not fan connector and you got the hard drive here connects to the board here just take the screws out you can lift the back up at, at an angle and then pull this back um, you can see this one board is separate from the rest connect it with this cable so if you need to replace these for some reason the USB port the audio jack and the um, one key recovery button you can replace that all right and that's pretty much it um, if you have any questions or comments um, just leave them below um, and I'll try and help you out um, remember if this helps you out make sure to like and subscribe because it'll help me out and thanks for watching um, once again, this is a SATA. I forgot to mention this M.2 slot is for an NVMe SSD. Usually they're backwards compatible, so you can probably also use uh, M.2 SATA, um, the cheaper type of memory. Um, the NVMe ones will usually have just one notch, though there are some with two notches. Um, so, yeah, sometimes they'll label them as like PCIe or something. But, yeah, so um, this is... Right here, they were including a NVMe uh, SSD M.2. Okay, and then oh, I forgot to show this. So this is one thing I'll show you is you can change the RAM underneath this little cover. You kind of just get your nail or a pry tool. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. So uh, this is tough with one hand, but just have to get under this cover. Let's see if I can just grab it from the sides. There we go. So you can actually grab it from the sides and pull it up as well. Just be careful not to pull too hard. Um, it looks like they put this stuff on top. I don't want to take that all out. But just to show you, yeah, the RAM is under there. You can actually see. Let's see here. That's an 8 gig PC4, so it's DDR4 memory. 2666V. Alright, so I don't want to take this out because then I have to undo all this adhesive stuff. But if you need to upgrade it or something, you can do that. It looks like there's going to be two slots under this. Okay, sorry, it's all focusing weird. And then I forgot to mention the wireless card. Here it is. Uh, to remove these cables, always pull up from the back. Don't pull from, like, the front or you can damage it. So you pull up from the back and it'll pop off. And then when you put it back, usually just, like place this over it and then make sure if you move it that it's staying in place that means it's over the, the connector properly and then you can push it down from the front first and then it'll just snap down okay so once again thanks for watching i hope this helped you if it did make sure to like and subscribe because that'll help me out and yeah bye